before starting this video here's silent before starting this video here's a disclaimer we do not mean no harm but if a fake feminist you will be harmed this video is strictly for educational purposes whatever i'm saying in this video is scientifically proven which means it is science's opinion which in turn is my opinion if you've got a problem with whatever i say in this video just go fight it out on twitter with science it's your personal beef i'm not a part of this hey you said beef you anti-national naxalwade beef as in not cow's meat it's a verbal dispute hello acgs and welcome to my channel here's another women's fashion video in today's video we're gonna see different body types of women and what clothing will suit your body type the best this is specifically for women because we've already made a body type video for men and if you're guys who haven't already seen it here's the video card you can click on it and go watch that video in men's case it was pretty simple there are three basic body types the endomorph mesomorph and the ectomorph and you have to dress in such a way that you can gain a specific appearance that is having an appealing structure and appear taller but it's a little different and a little complicated for women hey a little i can see the script in your hands even though i'm so high i can get it that it's so fucking complicated it's a little high okay bob but it's not that it's complicated but there's a lot to talk about and the reason for this is that you have not one single uh, ideal body type yet that you have to achieve and you have to dress accordingly to achieve that good for you <laughs> so we'll talk about every single category one by one and you have to see for yourself which category do you fit in the first body type for women is the rectangle rectangle erect angle did you get it he 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 are you mocking me are you mocking me Hey, 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 I was just kidding. You don't have to activate your analyze every time I make a joke on you. <laughs> so, uh, back to the point we were talking about. Hey, 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 chill, chill, um. The ones who are rectangle have a very straight body type and have very minimal curves. The best examples for this body shape are uh, Deepika Padukone, there's Bella Hadid, then there's uh, Kendall Jenner. These are your rectangular body shapes. For you gals, you just have to focus on keeping a balance because this body type, it is versatile. You can pair a lot of clothes, you can wear a lot of different clothes, but still you have to keep that balance in your mind because it can very easily be misbalanced. For example, if you have a very heavy embroidery or a very heavy print on your top and you are wearing a solid colored uh, bottom or something, at that point, those embroideries or those prints can make your uh, top or the top portion much more overpowered as a result imbalanced so keep in mind if you have a print or an embroidery on top it goes on the bottom as well that's how you keep a balance and if the top is solid the bottom is solid as well other than that you can pull off almost anything the second body shape is the hourglass you gals your waistline is very definite your shoulders and hips are also of the same size a lot of people believe that this is the ideal body type that every woman should achieve but that's not really the case it's just a personal preference and it lies in the eyes of the beholder you have two pros if you have this body type one of which is that your body type is like the most versatile body type you can wear almost anything and get away with it you won't look bad at all and as this is an hourglass you also belong to the sand village if you know you know lol the best examples i can give you are tamanna bhatia iliana de cruz and obviously sunny leone you can wear almost anything but in order to look your best you have to focus on wearing clothes that show off your curves that wasn't necessary. Like anything that has a fitted waistline, these tight dresses, your formal party wear dresses, anything goes very well with you, anything that hugs your body well. You can even show some skin because you have that advantage. But here's the thing, if you are not comfortable showing off your skin or your curves directly with hugging clothes, you can also wear your uh, shirt dresses with a belt. Just avoid looking boxy. Dabba. 
and clothes that hide your curves. The third body shape is the triangle. For this body type, your lower body has more visual weight. And if you don't know what visual weight is, your normal weight is just your normal you know, weight in terms of kilograms or pounds or whatever you measure it in. But visual weight is something that looks heavy. You know, at times when you say that you know what, this, this outfit makes you look heavy. That is called visual weight when something or some part of you has visually some weight to it. That's what is called visual weight. So don't get it confused by your normal regular weight. So a good example for this body type is Somar Ray. See, this is a triangle body shape. Focus more on your shoulders as your hips don't lie. Shakira, Shakira. Wear tops like cold shoulder, padded shoulder, or anything that accentuates your shoulders and makes them look broader. That is what you have to achieve here. You just have to stay away from clothes that might make your shoulders look Look very small. The fourth body shape on our list is the inverted triangle. It's just like the triangle but upside down. In this body type, your shoulders are broader compared to your hips. A really good example for this is Rhea Ripley or Lacey Evans or even her. Your shoulders are already wide, your shoulders are already broad, you don't have to overpower them by wearing you know, things that might accentuate your shoulders like the cold shoulder, completely opposite of what you have to do with the triangle body shape. That is what works here. And just like that, the fifth and the final body shape on our list is the oval body shape. This is where most of the Indian women might fit in. Imagine yourself as a pair, uh, not just from the front but also from the side. This is what uh, you look as an oval body shape. Your lower body has more visual weight. Again, not actual weight, but visual weight. There's a difference. You guys, even though you are not short, you might seem shorter because there's a lot of visual weight on the lower body. So you girls have to focus on appearing taller. So include things like high heels in your outfits, your high top boots in your outfits, uh, vertical stripes if you may, straight fit clothes, straight fit denim, anything like that. Anything which might make you appear taller instead of wearing your normal regular jeans that start from your hip you can switch to high waist jeans this way you can look much more taller and these jeans look much better on you compared to the normal regular jeans well that was all but finally there are like things like color theory that we have already made a video on there's not a lot of difference between men and women for the color theory the color theory video is right here you can understand the color theory from this video and apply it in your own outfits and just keep in mind that prints or your patterns like your vertical stripes for example make you appear taller and on the contrary horizontal stripes make you look wider so use those according to your body type then there are again polka dots that uh, you can also use in your outfits but just make sure if you are a skinny person then you should consider bigger polka dots uh, as these might look better on you uh, smaller polka dots you can still wear them but they won't look as good as a bigger polka dot on your outfit and it's completely opposite for the plus size women as you you should not wear uh, clothes that have polka dots, huge polka dots. You should go with the small ones. Any pattern that you're going with, go with minimal small patterns. That will look much, much better on you. And well, that was all for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me and watching this video till the end. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down and let me know why you liked or disliked this video in the comment section below. Join our amazingly supportive Discord server, the anti chapri gang and become an ACG. The link is in the bio. If you want to talk to me personally, my Instagram handle is mentioned below. It's at streetstylescape. You can go follow me there and talk to me directly. I'm also on Snapchat, so go add me on Snapchat. And I'm on Twitter too. So go follow me at stylescape on Twitter. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what video do you want to see next. Until then, stay stylish, stay safe. Triple S, out.